Good morning children. Welcome to your English class. In today's class, let's discuss a story from your supplementary English book. The name of the story is The Old Clock Shop. In this story, we will learn how a kindness of a man leads to peace and harmony. Kindness and peace are the two elements associated with Christmas. Now we will explore these themes through this beautiful tale. On Christmas Eve, Salt Lake City in USA was covered in a thick layer of snow. Last minute shoppers were heading home. In the old clock shop, Ray, the old deaf owner, worked on a clock. Ray finished his work. He was about to go to the back room when he felt the cold air hit him in the back. He turned thinking it was a last minute shopper. His practiced eyes told him this man hadn't come to shop. There were two men. The younger one in his twenties stayed near the door. The older man, close to fifty, approached the counter. Ray hid his fear as best he could. He slid a notepad and a pencil across the counter and smiled at the unfriendly man. He pointed to his ears and shook his head. The old man's expression changed and he spoke to his friend. Ray looked closely at the man. He could make out the shape of the gun in the man's right coat pocket. He had written, May I help you on the notepad. The older man smiled in a cruel manner at Ray. They both knew why they were there. Ray knew that these two men were facing difficult times. They were possibly very poor and about to rob him, something they would regret later. Ray wrote on the notepad, have you come to pick up a clock or watch? He then pointed to the lone boat, crowded with clocks and pocket watches. Though Ray was not a pawnbroker, he loaned money to poor people in return for their old watches or clocks. When the owners came back, he would return the clock and watch for the price he had paid without interest. The old man then took out his hand from the pocket and showed Ray the wrist. He wrote on the pad, how much will you give me for this? Ray knew that the man was ashamed. Ray thought that the watch had great power. It was a way to get out of a bad situation. Ray asked the man how much he needed for it. The man responded by writing whatever it's worth. Ray gave him a $50 note from his cash box and then shook hands. The man's eyes seemed to be saying thank you. They both knew the watch wasn't worth so much money. Before leaving, the old man wrote on the pad, I will be back to pick it up as soon as I can. Merry Christmas. As this transaction ended, the clocks all together rang out to signal the half hour. Even Ray thought he could hear them. The message of peace on earth and goodwill towards all was felt by the three of them standing in the shop through the music of the timepieces. Students, with that we come to the end of this story. See you in the next video. Till then, happy learning.